The surprising things that's have found about this very powerful volcanic eruption. The Hunga Tonga Hunga Haapai underwater volcano produces a record 2,600 flashes of lightning per minute like crime scene investigators. Scientists are tracing back what really happened on January 15, 2022, near the islands of Tonga in the South Pacific. In that moment, the hard facts were clear. An underwater volcano erupted, and it was enormous. Since then, Scientists have continued to make amazing discoveries about what turned out to be one of the most powerful volcanic eruptions in the world. It was clear that this was going to be an attention-grabbing scientific event, said Alexa Van Eaton, volcanologist at the U.S. Geological Survey. This is several orders of magnitude larger than anything we are used to seeing. This eruption will definitely teach us something new. The climatic awakening of the Hunga Tonga underwater volcano, Hunga Haapai, lasted less than a day and claimed the lives of a handful of people, including as far as Peruvian. The volcano has broken several records. The cataclysmic explosion was bigger than any U.S. nuclear explosion. Tsunami waves flooded the coast. Ash flew into the third layer of Earth's atmosphere, higher than any other recorded volcanic eruption. An unprecedented amount of water, enough to fill nearly 60,000 Olympic-sized swimming pools, surged into the atmosphere and could warm ours in the future. Now, a new study led by Van Eaton sheds more light on this puzzling event by analyzing lightning data. Researchers found the plume created its own massive weather system and the most intense thunderstorms ever recorded. At least 2,600 lightning strikes every minute were detected during peak activity, shattering levels of any other weather system, storm or volcanic eruption recorded in Earth's history. Dot. Using that data, the team also determined that the eruption lasted 11 hours, several hours longer than previously thought. Van Eaton said the ash cloud from the eruption obscured the area around the volcano, even using satellites in space. You can't drill down into the cloud and see what happened at the event, said Van Eaton. Lightning can help us do that. We can basically adjust the lightning rate to the height of the plume to reconstruct the January 15th activity timeline. The violent eruption brought up 36 miles of volcanic material and ash, a world record. Van Eaton said that the momentum from magma fragmentation drives strong upward air currents at ground level, which are usually seen in thunderstorms. Volcanoes have been known to create their own weather systems like this, but he says, it's on another level, and creates powerful lightning. Lightning on volcanoes is nothing new. Lightning is caused by an imbalance of electric charges in the atmosphere. On a volcano, ash particles rubbing against each other, along with hail and ice forming processes, can electrocute airborne particles. Perhaps larger particles are moving one way and smaller particles are moving in another, and that helps create separation of charges leading to an electric discharge, says Van Eaton.